Hamar Sundaram from Fairfax, Virginia. I'm here to introduce you to the invited commentary in this month's ASJ that I co-authored with my research coordinator, Vidya Srinivasan. Our commentary relates to the case report of a 33-year-old woman who died from presumed pulmonary embolism after receiving high-volume vaginal injection of fillers. We've analyzed what went wrong in this particular case in the context of the broader implications for injectable safety and with the aim of preventing future tragedies like this. Highlighted in our commentary are findings from the new procedural safety consensus of the Global Aesthetics Alliance, which surveyed plastic surgeons and dermatologists from six continents. A key consideration is that aesthetic conferences and workshops are the primary avenues for education, not only in genital rejuvenation, but on all injectables procedures. These events often have a heavy non-surgical focus, and they can play a critical role in promulgating global standards of practice, patient welfare, and safety. For example, when live demonstrations showcase single-session, high-volume injectables treatments to offer the visual appeal of instant results, how does this impact the practices of those in attendance? Education on injectables rightly emphasizes recognizing and managing the classical signs of vascular complications. However, should more subtle indicators also be discussed and how to counsel patients on what is expected versus what merits emergency care. Fragmentation of care is a persistent issue for patients presenting with complications and we consider the potential solutions offered by today's technologies. Thank you to the ASJ for this opportunity to discuss the multifactorial etiology of many complications. The next steps are to open a dialogue with all stakeholders, practitioners, educators, core specialty societies and industry on how we can place patient protection before all else. Together we can advocate for ethical treatment planning, including appropriate triage to non-surgical interventions and for accountability and consistency in the service of our patients. Mm -hmm.